Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video on how to get all A's in nursing school. I posted on my Instagram a while ago a list of videos that I was thinking about doing and if, asked you guys if you had any ideas. And this is one of the video ideas I had and a ton of people said do that, do that, do that. So. This video is highly desired and wanted, and so here we go. So the first way to get all A's in nursing school, and this sounds so silly, and when I say it, you're probably gonna be like, well, duh, Ashley, we already know that, is to try. And I say this because you don't know how many times I have heard nursing students say, you know, well, I just don't care about that exam, or you know, it, whatever, you know, I, I got a C on it, and I just, I don't care. And that attitude, in my opinion, is a very poor attitude to have. Think about your family and your friends, and if one of them was sick in the hospital, would you want a nurse that said, I just don't really care about that patient, or I just don't really care to know that medication, it doesn't really matter. Getting all A's starts with your attitude and your perception and perspective of things. And if you tell yourself that you're gonna do it, and you tell yourself that you're gonna try your best and do your best, then that's the key to getting all A's in nursing school. Because from there, you're gonna form your study habits. You're gonna do everything you can to get good grades on your exams and your, in your labs and clinicals and on all of your assignments. So just a little background in case you guys didn't know, I did graduate nursing school with all A's. And I know some of you are like, oh my gosh, that's impossible. And it definitely was challenging. I am not saying that it was easy for me, but I also know that I put in the work for it and that I don't wanna say I deserve to get all A's, but I definitely put in a lot of time and effort. And so that was reflected in my grades. So the second tip on getting all A's is you have to do whatever it takes to get all A's. If you don't do so well on your first exam, then go in and review it with the teacher. Go to the study reviews or the test reviews. Change up your study habits. If before you were just using flashcards, then next time use flashcards and rewrite your notes and study with a friend and write out your own test questions and talk with your friends about what questions might be on the exams. You know, you just have to do everything possible to study for those exams, study for clinicals, study for your labs and, and assignments, and you gotta change your study habits for each course. Something that might have worked great in med surge might not work so well in OB and peds, and you might have to mold your study habits because the teacher is not going to mold the course to fit your needs. You gotta mold your needs to fit the course. The third way to get all A's, and I have probably said this in at least like 10 of my videos, is do not procrastinate. Yes, working can get in the way. Yes, life can get in the way. Whatever can get in the way. But if you procrastinate, you are going to get behind, you're going to get overwhelmed, and you are not going to do as well on your assignments and exams as you would like. You really have to put in the time and effort to study every single day, and yes, I mean every single day. During nursing school, I rarely had a day off where I did not do something that was school related. And even if you tell yourself, I already know this material or I'm gonna be, stu I'll study it this weekend, no. That is a big red flag to tell you that, no, you need to get your butt into your room or into the library and you need to study right now. Because if you're telling yourself, oh, I'll do it later or I have this to do now, I'm gonna do that later, then that is a sign that you are procrastinating and that you may not do as well on your exams as you'd like. Maybe that works for you, I don't know. But just in my experience, I have learned that students who do not procrastinate tend to do better on their exams and assignments. The last tip that I have for you guys is to ask for help when needed. If you know that you're struggling, if you know that you're falling behind, if you didn't score as well on the first exam, then go in and talk with your teachers, talk with your peers, talk with someone in the class who is doing well and ask what they're doing and what works for them because if you let yourself get overwhelmed and you, you're gonna start this snowball effect of not doing as well as you would like and then you're gonna feel behind and you wanna you know, keep up with the workload and keep up with the study load and if you don't do well on your first exam, then right then and there is when you gotta ask for help, talk to the teacher about what has worked for other students in the past. Teachers are, all the teachers that I have ever met are very willing to help students, especially if you show that you are interested in learning and that you're willing to do everything you can to learn the material. Because most teachers that are teaching courses, 
love the material that they're teaching. And so if you show that you're interested in it and wanna learn it, they're going to want to help you. All right, guys. I would love if you could leave some comments in the comments below or share your stories or experiences on getting A's or getting B's or C's or whatever. And tell me what has worked for you. Tell me your favorite color, tell me your favorite food. I don't care, just leave me some comments in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time. Bye.